Tonight, disturbing new details about what a five-year-old girl allegedly went through before she died. Court documents say the child was kept in a closet for most of the day with food on the ground and feces on the walls. Police are calling it neglect. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson shows us why the girl's extended family is furious with DCS. If the parents aren't going to love and protect them, and the state's not, who's going to protect them? Flowers, balloons, and a card saying Forever Five, always in our hearts, baby Kinsley, sit outside the southwest side home she was found in. Metro police say the five-year-old was unresponsive, thin, with sunken eyes, and had feces on her feet and in her hair. Riley Hospital reports Kinsley was so malnourished, she weighed more at two and a half years old than at five. Traumatized, like terrific, uh, words can't describe the feelings. Yeah. They're guilty to eat sometimes. Grandparents Trisha and Brian Welty say the warning signs of Kinsley's health were reported, but say the Department of Child Services let them down. We just don't want her death to be in vain. We want change. We don't want any more kids to have to die because of the failure of the system. It's not right. She was in our home and she was safe and she was loved and she was handed back to her abuser and she's not here anymore. The Welty say Kinsley temporarily lived with them twice after other reports of mistreatment. In 2018, her mother, Tony McClure, was formally charged with neglect when Kinsley was just a baby. The officer said the home was in one of the worst conditions he'd ever seen and noted a three-week-old that appeared to be malnourished. Her mother served 21 days in jail for that case. When she came to us the second time, she was bruised from head to toe. She had clumps of hair, of hair missing. missing throughout her whole head. And she was given back. And she had already tried to starve her to death when she was three weeks old. <laughs> and they gave her back. Following a welfare check in 2021, the grandparents say they were fearful Kinsley would die. I pleaded, pleaded with DCS before that court case. My concerns about all that, every bit of it, and I was ignored. According to police reports, the mother says just before Kinsley died, DCS was at the house but didn't see Kinsley. McClure says Kinsley frequently expressed that she wanted more food or that she was thirsty, but says she had a desire for her to be out of her life. The Welties want DCS to improve its reunification process. Your priority should be the children, their safety. It shouldn't be getting them back if the parent's not the safe person and they failed her. I just want justice for Kinsley. I pray to God that they don't plead this down. I pray every charge sticks. Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Well, we have reached out to DCS over the past couple of days for comment, but a law that took effect in 2019 prevents the agency from re from releasing records on a child's death until after the criminal case is resolved. If you suspect a child is being abused or neglected, you are asked to call the Indiana Department of Child Services. That number's on your screen now. It's 1-800-800-5556. But if it is an emergency situation, you should call 911. With this being Child Abuse Prevention Awareness Month, we're hoping that it will bring more awareness so that way people can contact the police, contact others who can help, our, help protect our youth who can't protect themselves. IAPD says warning signs of abuse and neglect you can look out for include poor hygiene, suspicious injuries, malnourishment, excessive fatigue, and aggressive or withdrawn behavior.